Be aware that there are roughly 250 adults experiencing homelessness in the greater Grand Traverse area. But you probably don't know, there are more than 350 TCAP students who are also facing homelessness. These young people are often overlooked and hidden in our communities. Where it all started, I guess. Pretty much when I was born, my mom was struggling with addiction. These are the hands of, let's call her Mary. We're hiding her face because she's part of Traverse City's so-called hidden population. When you think of people experiencing homelessness, you probably think of adults who live in shelters like Safe Harbor. Or people who sleep in tents in places like the Pines. Or those who seek shelter under our city's bridges. Who you probably don't think of are the teenagers you see at the skate park. Or the students who go to school with your kids. These young people may not be sleeping in shelters or in tents, but they're also not sleeping at home with their families. They're homeless youth. They're people like Mary. They're the hidden population. Growing up, Mary called many different places home. When her mom went to prison, she lived with her mom's boyfriend. When her mom got out of prison, Mary lived with her again, but not for very long. It was just bad for me. And I wanted to stay for my mom and be there for her, but they weren't caring about my needs, so I did it for myself. Mary was 13 when she left her mom and the roof over her head. It was scary. It was really scary, but I feel like I've kind of been in a survival mode for a while, so I kind of just pushed through it. Mary is one of the 357 students at Traverse City Area Public Schools experiencing housing instability. They're what's being called the hidden population. Many of them are doubled up on couch, or couch surfing is a common term. Um, some of them live with family members um, that are not their parents or guardians, um, and others live with friends. While some may think these teens left home simply because they didn't want to follow their parents' rules. And that really isn't the case. It's severe um, abuse, neglect, dysfunction within the home that they felt Experiencing homelessness and coming into that system was actually a better choice than staying at home. For some, like Mary, that choice is one of the hardest they will ever make. You just feel like you don't know what to do with yourself or anything. And when you're young, it's, it's very scary. After couch surfing for about five years, Mary was recently able to move in with her friend's family. They took me in and understood that I needed somebody. She has a bed to sleep in and a roof over her head, but she still faces many challenges. Getting my license is a very big one, and succeeding in school is a very big thing. It was hard to like have that whole mindset and then come to school. Like clothing, things like that, food, that's always been a struggle too. Also the parent issue, like not having a visible parent there, it, it really will take a toll on you. These challenges that Mary and so many others deal with often go unnoticed by people in the community. If you have kids who are in high school, you know this is happening because you'll, they'll have friends come over and they'll stay the night, then they'll stay two nights, and they'll stay three nights, and then you start thinking what's, kinda, what's going on. Um, but for those of us who haven't had that experience, it's really, you don't think about it. For Mary, her situation isn't something she talks about with her friends or classmates. The people here, I guess, um, there's a lot of different circumstances and most of what I've seen is not close to mine, so I haven't really felt like bringing it up. Luckily, Mary does have people she can talk to and lean on for support through the Student Support Network at TCAPS. We provide clothing, uh, school supplies, anything that the students need to participate fully in school. The Student Support Network provides more than just physical items to students like Mary. It provides another basic but critically important need, emotional support. I've pushed through it, but I mean, the only really real reason is because of like schools. I feel like the counselors and the people like her, they are the ones that have helped me the most and keep me going. Without it, I wouldn't even have hope for my future. So what is the solution to this hidden problem? So that's a tricky one because <laughs> there's so many factors that um, and causes of why students become unaccompanied. That's the thing. There isn't one clear cut solution, but advocates stress the importance of more support and prevention.
if we know a student um, is at risk of losing their home and becoming unaccompanied, then we will work with outside partners and agencies to try to prevent that from happening. And another key to finding a solution. Building awareness within the community. Because if we don't know this is happening, how can we help students like Mary? People like me just deserve to be heard and seen. To stay in most shelters like Safe Harbor, you have to be 18 years old. However, there is a shelter in Traverse City for people ages 12 to 17 called Pete's Place. Currently, Cubish says only one TCAP student is staying at Pete's Place. She says more teens and kids probably aren't staying there due to the stigma of staying in a shelter. And we do have more information on Pete's Place as well as ways that you can help these students experiencing homelessness on our website, upnorthlive.com.